Hello, I'm Fabrice from ESHA. In the first two parts of the microscopic fecal examination series, we discussed the number of parasites that cause fish diseases. For microscopic examinations, you want to use fresh feces. One of our how-to videos explains how to do that. The video links are found in the description box below. In this video, we take a look at the six most common non-parasitic microorganisms. But why do we find non-parasitic microorganisms in fish feces? They can accidentally be consumed by fish. If they are not digested, they are excreted with the feces. Another reason why we find non-parasitic microorganisms is that excreted feces are quickly discovered by microorganisms like detrovores. Detrovores consume feces and are found in both natural biotopes and aquaria. To exclude non-relevant microorganisms like detrovores, you want to use fresh feces. Aielozoma is a small worm, about 4 mm, which is transparent, and a close relative to the earthworm. The worm's body is divided into segments, each of which has thin bristles. Many orange glands are scattered all over the worm's body. Aielozoma use organic waste, such as fish feces, for food. These worms are able to move quickly over the bottom and in the water. The Aielozoma themselves often become food for small aquarium fish. Rotifers are small aquatic organisms making up a large group which includes about 1500 species. For example, Philodina roseola is quite common in fecal samples and it can also be found in fresh feces. The size and looks resemble skin flukes like gyrodactylus. Philodina has a muscular tail with a pair of outgrowths and attachment glands at the end. With these glands, rotifers are able to move and attach to the substrate, just like skin flukes. However, skin flukes will never do this. Rotifers have a ciliated rotatory apparatus, which creates a stream of water that brings food particles to the mouth of the animal. Paramecium are unicellular microorganisms with a shape resembling a slipper. These are relatively large unicellular microorganisms. On the left you can see a rotifer, which is a multicellular organism, and on the right a paramecium caudatum. Paramecium are mostly found in freshwater environments. The genus Paramecium belongs to the phylum Ciliophora. The whole cell is covered with filaments called cilia. The cilia are used for locomotion and to transport food to the oral cavity. Paramecium feed on bacteria, which grow in huge numbers on fish feces. And that is why paramecium are often found grazing on feces. This is another group of unicellular microorganisms from the phylum ciliophora. There are more than 40 species of tetrahymena. Most species of the genus tetrahymena live at the bottom of ponds and lakes among decomposing plants and organic waste, such as fish feces. Not all tetrahymena are parasitic, and tetrahymena can switch from commensal to parasitic form. They feed on bacteria and small organic particles. That is why you can find them in your aquarium when you do a fecal examination. Euglena is a group of single-cell flagellates. There are more than 800 species of Euglena. Euglena species can be found in freshwater and in salt water.
Euglena have two flagella, one very short and the other one really long and easily visible with a microscope. Most Euglena have chloroplasts within their cell, which enables them to photosynthesize. However, they can also eat organic food like fish feces. Bryozoa are small colonial animals. The size of one animal reaches one to three millimeters. But the colony can be dozens of centimeters long. They mainly live in seawater, but there is a group of freshwater bryozoa that can settle on materials like decoration, filters, plants and other elements in your aquarium. Plumatella repens is such a freshwater bryozoan. They are harmless animals that resemble corals. They feed by filtering food particles from the water. But why can they cause confusion when we examine feces? Plumatella are often eaten by fish and therefore when you examine the feces you can find strange large oval eggs with a beautiful cell wall pattern. Here you can see these brown colored eggs inside Plumatella repens. If you don't know this, you might think that a big parasite lives in the intestines of your fish. But no, the egg is from a bryozoan. Do you want to learn more about microscopic fecal examinations? Watch part 4 regarding other animals and artifacts. Thank you for watching.